So family, like I said, today I've got a really great topic for you guys. So make sure you guys get your videos on. Make sure you guys get your notepads out. Make sure you guys get your blue pens out. So I'm about to give you guys a lot of sauce today. And honestly, it's a great, phenomenal topic that I believe every single one of you guys should know inside and out. So with no further ado, what I'm gonna do today is, I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dive into the seven laws of the universe, right? Seven main natural laws of the universe. So some of you guys might have heard of it, some of you guys probably have not, but I promise you when I learned this information, when I really took it and absorbed it, my whole life changed because I started to look at things completely different, right? So family, with no further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. So as far as the seven laws, right? Here's gonna be the first law. And it is called the law of vibration, okay? The law of vibration is really simple. It states that everything vibrates and nothing rests, okay? So whether, whether you guys know it or not, energy, it cannot be created, nor can it be destroyed. So I don't know if you guys know it right now, but if you stop what you're doing right now and you were to look at this wall, you're not gonna be able to see it, but I promise you the particles are moving every single second. So everything around you is moving. So whether you believe it or not, you are a vibration, you are vibrating right now. So the difference is most people, you vibrate at a low frequency, you vibrate at a dull frequency and you wonder why you live a dull life. A lot of it comes down to your vibration. That's why they say you, you get a higher vibration, you get a higher frequency, you're gonna attract a higher level of life. Well, that's exactly what that comes to. So. Think about it like this, consistently focusing on a particular thought or idea that attracts its vibrational match. So how do you apply the law of vibration? You focus on what you want instead of what you don't want, okay? That's, that's as easy as I could put it. Number two, the law of relativity, okay? This is, this is interesting. The law of relativity goes like this, okay? Everything that you look at, you have to be able to relate it to something, okay? So as you guys get older, as you guys get more experience, think about it like this. You've been able to hear certain words and now you internalize it different because you truly understand what it means, right? Some of you guys before this business, you might have understood what motivation is and now you understand what dedication is, but you had to get something to relate it to so it could actually make sense, okay? So think about it like this. Practice relating your situation to something worse than yours and see how good you feel, right? Now you can relate things to other things and it's gonna give you a perception of a different way to think about it. That's the law of relativity. Number three, the law of cause and effect. No matter what you do, no matter what happens in the world, everything that happens has an effect. Everything that, that, that starts something, it's gonna go create a ripple in the universe. So if you think about it like this, whatever you guys think about, you're putting out. Every action that you take, it's gonna bring a type of reaction. So if you think about it like this, the cause and effect, if you guys are putting out daily, if you guys are doing daily methods of operation, if you guys are growing yourself, if you're meeting new people, if you're getting on go live, you're actually really utilizing the products, that's the cause. Now guess what the effect is gonna be? Growth, results, bettering yourself in your life, 10Xing every aspect, mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, this is the law of cause and effect. So what you do is always gonna have an effect and that could be positive, that could be negative, right? Someone who smokes and drinks all day, the effect in a year, they're probably gonna be the same person. But someone that gets knowledge, they grow themselves, the effect is they're gonna have growth as time goes by. That's the cause and effect. Next, the law of polarity. This is crazy to think about because a lot of you guys, you've seen it but you've never understood it, how I'm about to teach it to you, okay? So, who is that? Yeah, Vanessa, that's good. All right, so look, the law of polarity. This is really interesting, okay? I don't know if you guys know this or not, but when I say it, it's gonna make sense. Everything that you look at, believe it or not, everything in this world, it has an opposite. It has a direct opposite. Allow me to explain. We have hot water, we have cold. We have the light, we have the dark, we have up, we have down, we have good, we have bad. You see that, right? It starts to make sense. You see, in the absence of something, there's something on the other side. So what I want you guys to think about is like this. You have a chance every day that you wake up to either live in a lack, live a life of lack, or you can live in a life of abundance. That's what I want you guys to think about. So for the law of polarity, write this down. You can either look for the good in people and situations, or you can look for the bad. So what you focus on grows what you focus on you make bigger in life 
So if you're always looking for the best in people, if you're always looking for the best in the situation, if you're always looking at your cup that's half full rather than half empty, this is the law of polarity. Being able to focus on the right side of the equation, right? Yin and yang. There's a reason why yin and yang exists. In every bad situation, there's good. In every good, there's bad. But you've got to be able to understand that. Next, I've got a couple more for you. Three more. Next, the law of rhythm. <laughs> the law of rhythm. This is, this is interesting, okay? The law of rhythm states very simply that everything has a natural cycle, right? Put it like this. How many of you guys have ever been to the beach? Drop a one, one, one if you guys have ever been to the beach. Let me show you something. If you've ever been to the beach, if you've ever opened your eyes, you've experienced the law of rhythm. Ready? This is it. Tides, what do they do? They come in and then they go back out. What, happen, what happens after the night? The day follows, okay? So if you think about it like this, there's always a rhythm every single day in life. We all have good times, we all have bad times. Nothing stays the same, change is always going to be constant. So if you know that no matter what you're going through, no matter what trials and tribulations, this too shall pass, okay? So how do you apply the law of rhythm in your life right now? Here's how you apply it. When you're on a downswing, when you guys are, you feel like in your head, you're stuck, you guys are going down, nothing is here to stay. Everything passes. So know that things will get better and good times are coming, okay? Just like a Forex chart. When you have a retrace, it always bounces back up. Next, two more. The law of gestation. Oh my goodness, this is powerful. This is a big one, okay? I'm gonna put it simply like this. When have you ever seen somebody plant a seed and seen a fruit come up the next day. You guys ever seen that? Guess what? Your business, your life, your body, your mindset works the same exact way, okay? The law of gestation states that everything takes time to manifest, okay? All things have a beginning and grow into form as more energy is added to it. So if you think about it like this, the thoughts that we think every day, they're like seeds that are planted in our minds, okay? And the more, you, the, more you, the more you water it, the more you put energy into it, the more it's going to blossom and grow, the more it's going to nourish inside of your mindset, okay? So stay focused and know that your goals become your reality the more that you focus on it, okay? Where focus goes, energy flows. And last but not least, the law of transmutation. Some of you guys saw it. I went over and Think and Grow Rich. If you haven't seen it yet, go read chapter 11. If you don't believe me, you can go see this chapter yourself. But the law of gestation is very interesting, okay? Here's what it talks about. It states that energy moves in and out of physical form, right? Believe it or not, you and your thoughts, this is all creative energy. The more you focus on what you desire, the more you harness that creative power to bring that energy and that results into your life, okay? So I don't know if you guys realize this, but the universe, it organizes itself according to your thoughts, according to the way that you think. That's why they say that every thought that comes, that, that, that comes to your mind, you're putting out a frequency into the universe. You know what I mean? Like, here's an example. I don't know if you guys have ever, you know, held, held a tray of food, right? You've been holding a tray of food. There, there's a lot on here. And, and, and before you get to the table to go drop it off, or maybe you've been carrying two full drinks. And before you go drop off those drinks on the table, you're thinking about, shit, I don't want to spill it. I don't want to spill it. And before you put it down, you spill it because that's what you're thinking about. That's where your energy is focused on. Okay, so this is law of transmutation, really learning how to harness that energy that a lot of times we put it onto the distractions, whether it's girls, video games, smoking and joking, but to put that creative energy into what you desire and into your business, this is when you'll finally start to see the physical manifestation of that energy. Okay, so really important, but family, this is the seven main laws of the universe. I don't care who you are, what you think. Nobody can run from these laws. This is, this, it is what it is. So you can either learn how to use them or you can get taken advantage of them. So family, that is the seven laws. Any, any questions, anything you guys wanna talk about, feel free to open up your mic and I got you. Fam, I just wanna say like, damn. I'm, I, I came in a little late, a little late, but you're right, 100% right. Like I'm about to go get these driver's license. Like literally like for real, I want all you guys to pray for me. And like literally what's on my mind, it's already done. So I got to say, it's already done. So it's right. You're right, fam. Just everybody stay up 1% better. You already know what it is. Let's get it. Actually, answer that for yourself. You don't got to put nothing in the chat. But once you water your seeds, then you can see growth. It's internal and external. 
So every day we got to work on it, internal and external. Don't just focus so much on running out and doing a whole bunch of internal or external, excuse me, before you do the internal. Because guess what? When you start talking to people, they feel you. They feel you. So you cannot be talking to people with a lot of anxiety. You can't be talking to people, even if you're messaging them with a lot of disappointment or heartache or whatever. We have to learn how to water our seeds that we get from people like Define or whoever else is mentoring you and then do something on the outside every day. It's, 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 we got to pay attention to all of that. So make sure that you're feeding your body the correct foods. You know, feeding the body, you're feeding your body. Nobody told you today, you're a leader, you're great, you're a limitless. Now don't show me, go show the world. Appreciate you, fam.